Mm -hmm. But yeah, the reason why I bring this up is because I, I watched your stream and it didn't seem to me like you were having any fun. Um, I, look, and to be fair, when I'm streaming, I'm drinking and also I'm, I'm, they, uh, it's intentionally being extravagant. I, sure, I get it. That's you know, also the, I had, the YouTube. It was also my biggest right? stream. I had 500 people in my chat. Like people are constantly talking at me. I and it's it's hard to like shift focus and you know yeah. I, I'm sure you've done like talks like in public before. Like having people ask like try to get your attention with different things. Like yeah, it, it's difficult. Well, mostly when I'm doing a talk in public, the audience is nice and respectful, and they're not Hopefully. interrupting me. Yeah, that's talking. fair. So uh, I can see how streaming would be a little bit more nerve wracking there. They just but then you get the talk. It's just people yelling end. questions at you constantly, and people telling you how you're doing yeah. something wrong because they've been using Plasma for ten years and know Gosh, exactly how to do it. Imagine. And then the people who that pretend be like they've been so using difficult. for ten years who are completely wrong and are just sending you down the complete <laughs> wrong path. That's always great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. That does sound stressful. Or at least when you're public speaking, usually people save the uh, the criticism for the very end, where they'll they'll ask a question where they'll say, "Well, thank you very much for that talk, but don't you think that everything that you said is totally wrong, and mm -hmm. what I'm about to say is actually right?" Right. Uh, also, it's not necessarily people that are wrong. There are people also, as you're saying, options that were removed in Plasma Six. Like they tell me about an option to fix something, like some issue I was having. But yep. it exists in 5.27, but it doesn't exist now. So it's, yeah. Yeah, it, exactly. Yeah. Um, so anyway, you were saying about the stream. Um, didn't look like I was having fun. Yeah, and I, I was feeling sad because, you know, the process of, of discovery and learning something new, I think, can be fun. Um, and I figured there was a little bit of extravagance and flamboyance for the audience there. But uh, but yeah, my, my, general, um, my general hope is that people who are putting together a Lego set without the instructions would be enjoying the process. Otherwise they would be using the instructions. I think the main- And I take your meaning that maybe the instructions themselves were not as clear as they could be. So totally gonna change that right after this. Most of that stuff, like I, I, I off, off the stream, I was like checking Reddit posts and stuff like, oh, here's a dependency, I'm missing install that. Why why can't I configure my monitors? Okay, screen needs to be, uh, needs to be installed. I needed to report a bug. I was like, oh, it said, go to about this system. I was like, why is about this system missing? Oh, it's a missing module. <laughs> like, all of this stuff is fine. The The main issues I had, and I, I did talk to David about this, um, were my stuttering issues. And there were issues, there were stuttering issues that got addressed in 5.27. And this might be like a different issue or something like, or it might be like a dri an AMD driver issue or I, I, I don't know what it is, but um, yeah, there's just like anim sometimes animations lock up. I, I, I have no idea what the problem could be. And I'm not an NVIDIA well, user, that's the, which is the big problem. I'll, I'll I, try not to turn this into a live bug triaging session, but uh, <laughs> is it fixed now or are you still experiencing Let's it? Let's find out. Uh... No. It, to me, it sounds like <laughs> it probably is a graphics driver issue. Yeah. Um, well, this goes back to the wire plumber thing, right? Like, it could it's just... the thing. How do you know, has, right? Yeah. And for graphics drivers issues in particular, there's almost no way to avoid first filing a bug on KWIN. And then Zavar or Vlad shows up and they say, oh, it's this exact bug on the Mesa issue tracker That's, over that's there. kind of what David was saying, where it was like, there's... Um, animation you need to like request a number of like a delay from the gpu or something i don't remember it was like very technical gpu stuff i didn't really guys know. are way smarter than me um, i can't pretend to know what they're saying most of the time but i, I always just basically gpu hard that's pretty much what we got it's very hard it's very hard very hard indeed mm -hmm. but the reason why it might sound like i'm so critical about plasma is because most of it is good. Like most of, it, I don't like. I don't need to talk about the way that, um, like window snapping works, or the way, like basic things like resizing windows, window closing, the way shortcuts work. Like all of this stuff's great. Like this is why, like it, it might seem like I'm more, I'm more critical of it than I should be, but it's because there, there are these very few issues that I have, that, like that, they're. they're very, why is OBS lagging? Oh no, maybe the whole browser was lagging. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, Chromium. Maybe then we'll fix it. I don't know what it was. Um, I will check in the recording afterwards. But 
there are so few issues I have in Plasma. Like, the way tiling works is one, and it's not a bug with tiling, it's just... actually. One, have you tried Polonium? I'm waiting for them to get 1.0 out, and I think they're waiting on Plasma to fix a bug. So I think the bug's going to be fixed in... I think the bug has been fixed, but they're waiting on... Dot oh four is that the next version or is dot oh three whatever the next version is to come out. Oh four is the next yeah. one, yeah. But yeah, when when you look at the tiling system, the tiling system was not designed to be like a full window manager alternative. It doesn't offer auto tiling. The idea was to offer enough API hooks for third party scripts like Polonium to add that content themselves. And so, I. I don't use this stuff myself, but I, I think they've largely done that. So if if that's your preferred workflow, I would definitely recommend using one of those one of those tools. Well, there uh, are things above I, and beyond what's built in. There, there are there are things even in the context of the way it currently works that I do think could be improved, like um, the quick tiling interacting with your tiling layout. That would be a massive improvement. Sure, that's that's a, an open target. Yeah, I, um, I, I Marco wish listed in there. Like, currently yeah, working on that. Okay, for yeah. six point one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's awesome. So it's, it was something that got flagged during the development of this feature as like an awkward interaction, but mm -hmm. we didn't have time to sort it out because it's kind of a conceptual problem because we're 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 adding a new system that does the same thing as the old system, but more and better. Yeah. yeah. But the old system has been refined to perfection over 15 years. And so we don't want to make the new system worse than the old system in a million tiny little ways, because then that's that's a way that we frustrate the heck out of people. Right, right. But on the other hand, if you do what we did, which is add a new system on top of the old system, then you have code duplication. And then you have multiple paths to achieve the same thing, and people get confused, and you have a maintenance burden. Yeah. So it's just one of those software development is hard things, especially software development in the context of keeping an existing user base happy is hard. I also, <laughs> I I haven't reported the problem yet. I need to do that. But I also noticed a weird issue where under some like very odd conditions, if you resize a floating tile, you can get it to start overlapping with other tiles. It, it's a very weird one. Um, I think it showed oh, really? up. I thought we fixed that one. May <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe it. Let me try that. Yeah, we fixed that. That's fixed in 6.1 already. Oh, okay, awesome. Yeah, um, I remember that one. That was a fifteen-minute bug. Because I, so I, I I'll, electrocuted somebody into fixing it. Because I was messing around with the floating tiles, and I had, I, I think I had like two floating tiles sitting there, and I resized one of them, and it suddenly turned back into like a regular tile, and it started Oops. like, yeah, and good. it was like because it was, it was overlapping, so the buttons were behind another tile, so I had to like delete a tile to get to it. it was, obviously, it was a it's bug. Very um. Yeah. Definitely a bug. Got fixed already. Yeah. Maybe it... even 6.04. I, it's at least fixed in, fixed in 6.1. Okay. Awesome. So I'm trying it out right now and it's it's not happening again. Because I know exactly what bug you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. It's it's one of those bugs where you have to like really be trying to do something stupid to get it to happen. Um... I mean, frankly, you know, the awkward truth is a lot of bugs are like that. Um, my wife has been using KDE Plasma for years now. She experiences no bugs. Mm -hmm. Um, because I mean, not to be insulting to anybody, but she uses the system like a normal person. Mm -hmm. Uh, and when she does have a bug, it's like a very obvious bug that like everybody will hit. And it's the kind of thing that gets fixed quickly. Right. But if you look at the kind of bugs that get reported on the bug tracker, overwhelmingly they're bugs that are caused by like technical nerds doing very interesting, creative things. And that's great. I love, I love the fact that people use our, our stuff in really creative ways. Um, but the more creative you are, the more you're likely to experience paper cuts sometimes, right? It's right. just the nature of it. Like a, a common one these days is people who are saying, well, I have three panels on my, on the top of my screen, one on the left, one on the right, and one on the middle. And now they don't interact quite right. It's like, that's true. That's a bug. We know that's a bug, but also like, do you really need to do that? Right. Like it's supported and we will fix the bug, but like still, yeah. nobody's forcing you to do that. Like let's, let's face it. Let's face it. This is not a showstopper when you decide to do that. Yeah. I think, but again, it's a bug and we will fix it. Right. But that's just the downside of offering a very flexible system, right? Is that people, 
people will use it flexibly and they'll they'll stress test the heck out of it and they'll find all these issues and then they will report all those issues mm -hmm. and then we will get disappointed and depressed because we don't have the resources to fix all of them all the resources that we wish we had uh, which gets me back to how you know every project is is like five people doing 80 or 90 percent of the work